Grace and I'm back with an advanced reformer class. So all you'll need is your box and we're going to be starting with one blue spring. So that's half a spring. And from here, you're going to have your long box on. Just make sure it's up against your shoulder rests. Feet are gonna stand uh, hip distance apart. Arms are by your side. I want you to take a nice deep belly breath here. So you're gonna inhale through the nose, expand your ribcage out nice and wide. And as you exhale, I want you to nod your chin to your chest. You're gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time. Allow your hands to find the edge of the box. And I just want you to imagine you're diving into a pool, a nice straight flat back. If you need, you can have a slight bend through the knees. And then I want you to round through the belly, draw that carriage all the way into the stopper. And then exhale, press the carriage away again. Nice and strong through the arms, inhaling, rounding through the back, two more like this. Exhale, pressing away, sticking your bottom out, inhaling, drawing the carriage all the way in, last one here, exhale, reaching out nice and long, and then inhaling, rounding through the belly. Make sure the carriage comes all the way into the stopper. Start to straighten up through the knees and round up or roll up one vertebrae at a time. And the last thing to lift is your gaze. From here, I want you to come into a four point kneeling position. But before we do that, let's lower down the foot bar. So we're lowering the foot bar down all the way and then we're gonna come into a four point kneeling position on top of your box. So your knees are in line with your hips, your shoulders are in line with your wrists. If you have any wrist issues, you can always come onto your fists. Otherwise, keep your hands nice and flat. We're gonna inhale here, take a nice deep belly breath. As you exhale, let's round through the back, draw your gaze towards your navel, press away from that box. Inhale, let your belly hang, draw your gaze forward. Get that nice stretch and release. And again, exhaling here, rounding through the belly, pressing away from that box, drawing your gaze towards your navel. Inhale, let your belly hang, draw your gaze forward. We've got one more like this. Exhaling, pressing away. Gaze is towards your navel. Inhale, let your belly hang. Getting that nice arch through the back. And now we're gonna find a neutral spine. So you're not gonna arch and you're not rounding. I want you to reach down with your left hand, grab hold of your long loop. And we're now going to walk our hands up on the long loop and place that long loop over the arch of your left foot. Place your hands back onto the box so you're in that four point kneeling position. And from here, without letting your hips shift to the right, I want you to press out through your left heel, lengthen your leg behind you. Inhale, draw that carriage back in, and then exhale, pressing away, finding length through the left leg. Your belly button's drawing to your spine and you're lifting out of your shoulders here. Inhaling to bend, exhale, finding length. Just make sure that your hips aren't shifting off to the right too much. And you really wanna work through your abdominals and your obliques to try and keep your torso centered. We've got three more like this. You've got your final two here. Keep lifting out of the shoulders. And you've got your last one where we're gonna keep our legs nice and long here. On an inhale breath, you're gonna lower the leg down to the side. Exhale, floating it back up. Inhaling here, exhaling using your waist. You've got four more like this. You've got your final three here. Exhaling, kicking back. Two to go, using your breath. And you've got your final one. We're gonna keep the left leg in line with our hip. We're gonna draw tiny little circles with our left foot. You've got four more in this direction. For three, two, one. Reverse your circles in the other direction. Little tiny circles for three. We've got two. Last one here, bend your left knee. Grab hold of your short loop with your left hand. Take your foot out of that loop. And now you're gonna reach your left hand to the side of the box. You wanna keep your arm nice and straight and as you exhale, you're gonna pull your hand back by your hips. Inhale, float the arm forward. Exhale, pulling back. So it's almost like you're resisting water as you pull your hand back, like a freestyle stroke. Exhaling, reaching back, inhale to float it forward. If you want to, you can always grab hold of your long loop and that way it will take tension out of your, uh, out of your string, the spring, sorry. <laughs> inhale, floating forward. 
exhale, reaching back. You guys have got it. Let's do three more like this. And you've got two. Inhaling, resisting. Last one here. Let's keep our elbow in close by our waist. You're going to bend and extend at the left elbow. You've got four more here. Exhale, reaching long. Final three, working through your triceps. Two more here. Belly buttons draw into your spine. And you've got your last one. Exhale, reaching long. Place your long loop onto your shoulder pin. If you need to, you can roll out your wrists in one direction. Let's get ready for the other side. So if it's easier, you can walk your knees up along the box and then grab hold of your right long loop. Place it over the arch of your foot and then walk your knees back into that four point kneeling position. When you're ready, with a minimal shift through the pelvis, let's reach back through our right leg and then inhale to bend. Exhale, driving back. Inhaling to bend here. Using your breath, keep lifting out of the shoulders. Belly buttons drawing to your spine. You've got three more like this, binding length. Two, exhale, reaching long. Last one here, keep your right leg straight. On an inhale breath, lower it down to the side. Exhale, float it back in line with your hips. Inhaling, and then exhaling, using your obliques here. Exhaling, floating it back, belly buttons drawing to your spine. Let's do three more like this. Exhale, kicking back. You've got two. Last one here. Keep your right leg reaching back. Little tiny circles with your right heel. We've got four, three, two, one. Let's reverse those circles in the other direction. Four, three, two, one. Bend your right knee. You should be feeling your glute and arms and core. And then you're going to reach down, grab hold of your short loop or you've got your long loop. If you want to make it a little easier, there we go. Reach your right hand to the side of the box. And on an exhale breath, let's pull back into your arm. Inhale, float it forward. Exhale, reaching back, nice and strong through your right arm. Keep lifting out of your left arm, your left shoulder. Belly buttons drawing to your spine. Inhale, exhaling. You've got three more like this before we come into five tricep presses. For two, last one here, keep your elbow in close by your waist. You're gonna bend and extend here. For five, you've got four, three, two, and your last one here. Exhaling, reaching long, placing your long loop onto your shoulder pin. If you can find it. There we go. And just roll out your wrist in one direction. Definitely gets the heart rate up that one. All right, we're gonna work into our core next. So keeping that blue spring, I just want you to sit down onto your box. Your feet are coming onto the headrest and you're gonna shuffle your bottom forward. From here, you're going to thread your feet through the long loops so that now your long loop is above your knee. You want your ropes on the outside of the leg. And then you're going to thread the other leg through. Wiggle your bottom towards the edge. Slowly lower yourself down and carefully. And then float your legs into tabletop. So you just want to make sure that your ropes are in line with one another. You don't want one rope down here, one rope up there. Interlace your fingertips together. Elbows out nice and wide. Keeping your legs nice and still and keeping them into tabletop. I just want you to exhale, scoop up through the head, neck and shoulders. Draw your gaze in between your knees. Inhale to lower down. Exhaling, scooping up. Belly buttons drawing to your spine. Inhaling here. Exhaling. So it's only a little movement through the upper body. Try and keep the carriage nice and still. Exhaling, lifting. Your abdominals might be shaking. Just a little bit. You've got three more like this. Your final two. Last one here. Keep yourself lifted. Without letting the carriage move, I want you to toe tap down your right leg towards your headrest. Exhale, draw it back into tabletop. Inhaling, arc the leg, left leg away from you. Exhale, drawing up. Keep lifting up through the upper abdominals. 
and we don't want that carriage to move at all. We're just adding in that little toe tap. So the lower that you send the leg, obviously the more challenging it is. If you're finding this too difficult, you can always come halfway. And the other option too is to take those straps off, but you guys can do it. Exhaling, drawing up. Inhaling to lower down. If you want, add in your double leg toe taps. The carriage will move here. You really start to feel your lower abdominals engage. Keep scooping up that little bit higher. Inhaling, exhaling, drawing them up. If you want to add in a little bit more, as you draw the knees in, lift up towards the knees. Inhaling, exhaling here. You've got four more like this. Really feel the abdominals working. Final three, exhaling. Inhale, two. You guys have got it. The last one here, keep your legs into tabletop. You're going to reach your right leg out nice and long as your right elbow goes towards your left knee. Come back through centre, alternate to the other side. Exhaling, so I want you to draw the armpit over to the knee. Find length through the legs. You guys can do it. We've got six more here for five and four. Three to go. Two, and your last one here. Wrap your hands around your shins, pull yourself up a little bit higher. We're gonna come into our double leg stretch. So I want you to reach both legs out nice and long as your arms reach out behind you. Circle your arms, wrap your hands around your shins, draw your knees in close towards your chest. Inhaling, exhaling here on the home stretch. You've got five. Last four, those lower abdominals are on fire. Three to go, two more here, and you've got your last one, exhaling, slowly finding the headrest with both feet, and then open yourself over, you can support your head with your hands and just take a nice deep belly breath here. One more deep belly breath. Now here's the challenging part. We've got to use our abs to peel yourself up of, off the box. Unthread your feet from those long loops. And we're going to take this long box off. First of all, let's change over to one red spring. And we're going to take this long box off and pop it to the side of the reformer. So I'm popping it here. You just might want to make sure that it's up against your, uh, right up against the side. And with your right foot, you're going to step in the top left hand corner. Your left foot's going to come up against your shoulder rest. Bend through both knees, lean your upper body forward. We're going to come into our scooters here. Keeping your right leg nice and still, you're just going to exhale, reach back through your left leg. Inhale to draw it back in. Exhaling to press away. Belly button's drawing to your spine. Keep the right leg nice and still. You're just driving back through your left heel. Using your breath here, nice and controlled. And keep pressing away. Hips are square, shoulders are down. You guys can do this, finding length through your left leg. If you would like to add on a challenge, as you send your left leg back, I want you to extend your left arm forward, right arm back. You're gonna start running your arms here. You'll start to feel your glutes switch on even more. Inhaling, exhaling, reaching long. Make sure that your arms are nice and straight. Your torso is nice and still. It's not moving. The only thing that's moving are your arms and your left leg. If you would like to add onto this and to challenge your balance, start to lift off your right heel and continue running your arms and your left leg here. We've only got six more. You've got five, four to go. Your final three. We're on the home stretch for two. And you've got your last one here. Lower the right heel down. You can tap out your glute if you want to. And you're gonna step down from there. Let's pick up your box and we're gonna swap over to the other side here. Alrighty. So you're going to pop it down, make sure it's up against the edge of the reformer. You're going to step to the top right hand corner with your left foot. Your right foot's coming onto your shoulder rest. Hands are behind your back. 
Bend through both knees, lean your upper body forward. Let's drive through your right leg. Exhaling and then inhaling here, using your breath. Starting to feel the left glute kick in. That leg's not moving, it's just the right leg that's doing the work at the moment. Inhale, exhale, nice and control. Find the length through your right leg. If you want to, you can add in your running arm. So opposite arm to opposite leg. As your right leg extends back, swing your right arm forward, and then we're changing. Inhale, exhale. Arms are nice and straight, torso still. Keeping that nice bend through the left leg. That's not moving at all. You guys have got it. Exhaling, and then inhaling. If you'd like to add on that challenge, let's lift up your left heel. Continue running the arms and the right leg. Shoulders are down. You guys have got it. Heart rate's up just a little bit. Inhaling, exhaling here. Let's do six more. And five. Your last four. Three to go. Two more here. And you've got your last one here. Let's lower down the left leg. Draw yourself all the way up. Let's step down from there. Grab hold of that long box. Place it onto the reformer again. You've still got your red spring. We're going to come into our pulling straps. So, lying onto your chest or lying onto your belly. You want your chest in line with the edge of the box. Your legs are reaching out nice and long behind you. And I want you to draw your legs together. I want you to press your pubic bone into the box as you draw your belly button away. You're going to reach down, grab hold of the plastic parts of your ropes. Keeping your gaze down towards the floor and your legs reaching out nice and long. Your arms are straight. As you exhale, I want you to pull into your straps. Draw your hands by your hips. Inhale, float your arms forward. Exhaling, pulling down. Inhale, float your arms forward. So feel your shoulder blades drawing down your back as you pull into your straps. Arms are nice and straight here. Just working into our postural muscles. You've got three more like this. Your final two here. Last one here. Let's keep our elbows in close by our waist. You're going to bend and extend at your elbow. So working into your triceps again. Legs are still reaching out nice and long. You've got five. Your final four. Three to go. Two more, elbows aren't moving. Last one here. Release the arms, just lower down through the upper body before we work into our extension. So on an inhale breath this time, we're gonna to start to pull into our straps. And as you do that, I want you to start to lift your gaze up and you're going to start to lift the chest off the box. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna inhale, pull into our straps, start to lift the gaze, lift the chest off, reach your arms back, Exhale, lower yourself down. And again, inhaling here, lifting up, finding length. Exhale, lower yourself down. You've got four more like this. Pulling the hands all the way back by your hips. You've got your final three here. Two more. And you've got your final one here. Lower yourself down. Place your long loops onto your shoulder pins. And then you're going to slowly peel yourself up off of that box. So we're going to work into our obliques. And what we're going to do is change this long box to a short box. If you're, I'm five foot ten. So if you're my height or taller, I would suggest placing your box over your shoulder rests. If you're shorter than me, you're going to place them in front of your shoulder rests. Or if you know what your, what your usual position is, go for that one. I've still got that red spring on. You're just gonna grab hold of your strap that's at the edge. And I want you to place your left foot into that strap. You're gonna sit onto your right butt cheek and I want your left butt cheek off of that box. Your left leg's nice and straight and you're going to flex your left foot back. That way it's gonna support you when we come into our oblique work. You're going to place your right hand onto your headrest. Place your left hand behind your back. Sorry, not your back, your head, the back of your head. 
From here, I want you to inhale, bend through your right elbow. It's almost like you're dunking your head into the well, and then you're gonna exhale to extend. Inhaling to bend, exhaling to extend here. So you're nice creating a nice shape through your bottom waist. Inhaling and then exhaling. In this position, you're now gonna float your right hand, so your bottom hand, and place it behind your head. Continue this movement through your side waist. You're inhaling and then exhaling. If that ever gets too much, you can always place your hands across your chest here. Otherwise, continue having your hands behind your head. Little tiny movements through your side waist. You've got five and four, three to go, two, the last one. Hold it here, see if you can extend your arms and then bend. You've got five and four, Three to go, holding nice and steady. Two more here, you guys have got it. Last one, place your right hand onto your headrest. Reach up and over with your left, get that nice stretch. And then I want you to rotate to the frame of your reformer. Lower yourself down. And take a nice deep belly breath here. All right, you're gonna come back through center. And we're gonna swap over to the other side. So place your right foot underneath of your strap. Your left leg is coming up onto your box. Your leg is nice and long, your hips are nice and square. Place your left hand onto your headrest, right hand behind your back. You're going to bend and then extend at the elbow. Inhaling and then exhaling. Using your breath here. When you're ready, as you extend through the left arm, float the left hand behind your head, continue this movement through your side waist. Make that movement nice and small. So you're really working through the waist there. Your right leg's nice and straight. You've got five more and four, three to go, two, last one. Hold yourself nice and still. Extend your arms, bend your arms for five. We've got four, find the length, three to go, two more, last one here, place your hand onto the headrest, reach up and over with your right, get that nice stretch, you're going to rotate to the frame of the reformer and get that stretch and release through the side of the body and that rotation through the spine. Come back through centre and from here, if you've got a red spring on, and if you've got the option of a yellow spring, just add on that yellow spring. Otherwise, if you're like me and you don't have a yellow spring, just change over to one green spring. We're gonna keep the box as it is, and all you're gonna do is stand onto your platform first, and then your carriage. So we're gonna come into our skater. Bend both knees, stick your bottom out, place your hands behind your back. From here, we're gonna keep our left leg nice and still. You're just gonna exhale, reach out through your right leg, inhale to draw it back in. So I want you to work through your abductors here and finding length through your right leg. If it ever gets too much, you can always walk your foot closer towards the box that takes out that tension. But if you wanna feel it a little bit more, keep the foot up against the carriage edge. Using your breath here. Let's do three more like this. You've got two. Last one here. Now shifting the weight over onto your right leg, extend your left leg out nice and long. Working through your abductor still. Exhale, and then inhale. You've got five more here. Just feeling those glutes work for four. Your final three here. Two more. And your last one here, bend your left knee. And now I want you to face towards your box. We're gonna work into our plank series. So coming down onto your forearms, you've still got the, either the red and yellow spring or the green spring. And I want you to lift up your knees, extend your legs out nice and long. Lift out of your shoulders, belly buttons drawing to your spine. And we're just gonna hold it here. Legs are nice and long using your breath. Nice guys. Working into our little plank series. I don't know about you, but my heart rate is up. 
We've been doing very well between transitions. Let's hold for another 10 before we come into our elbow slides. You've got five more seconds here for four, three, two, one. From here, just reach your arms out nice and long. Draw your elbows back in line with your shoulders. Exhaling and then inhaling here. Belly buttons drawing to your spine. Working into your shoulders, working into your core. Using your breath. You've got five more. And four. Three to go. For two. Last one here. Keep your elbows in line with your shoulders. See if you can float your left leg off. Just hold it here for five. Four, three, two, one. Lower your left leg, float your right leg off, hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Lower the right leg, bend your knees, draw the carriage all the way in. And guess what? We've got our glute work on the other side. So we're going to stand up straight away. We're going to keep our right foot onto our platform. Place your left foot onto the carriage. Bend through both knees. Hands either onto your hips or behind your back. Let's extend your left leg and draw the carriage all the way in. Nice and controlled here. Exhale, reaching out nice and long. Inhale to draw it back in. Keeping your right knee over your right second toe and working your abductors to draw that carriage all the way back in. You've got four more like this. And three, two to go here. And you've got your final one. Let's transition. Extend your right leg out nice and long. Draw the carriage back in. Exhaling. And then inhaling. Using your breath, keep working through your glute. You've got five more here. And four. Really starting to feel it kick in for three. Nice and controlled. Two more here. And you've got your final one here. Draw the carriage all the way in, standing off carefully. I want you to grab hold of your box. Let's place it somewhere away from the reformer. And we're going to change over just to one blue spring. And from here, you're going to place your feet up against your shoulder rests. You're going to reach back behind you. Grab hold of your short loops for more resistance. Grab hold of your long loops for less resistance. We're going to come into our kneeling arms facing front. So coming up into that high kneeling position, arms along by your side. Exhale, float your hands in line with your shoulders. Inhale to lower down. Exhale, floating the arms up. Inhale to lower down. Feeling nice and strong to, through your torso. Reaching through the crown of your head. Exhaling, floating up. Inhale to lower down. You've got three more here. For two. Last one here. Keep your arms reaching up. All we're going to do is hug a tree. Open your arms out wide. Draw your fingertips together. Have a nice soft bend through the elbows. And I really want you to draw your fingertips all the way together. Inhale. Exhaling here for four. Three to go. Two more. Last one here. Open your arms out nice and wide. Hold it here. Draw tiny little circles with the arms for five. And four. Three. Two. One. Let's reverse the circles in the other direction for five. Four. Three. Two. We've got it. Last one here. Lower your arms down. Bend your knees. Place your long loops onto your shoulder pins. You're going to lift up your foot bar and you've still got your one blue spring. Wrap your hands around the foot bar. Extend your legs out nice and long. Well, it's almost like you're creating a nice diagonal through the crown of the head, through to your knees. Inhale, send the carriage away. Exhale, draw yourself all the way up. Inhaling here. Exhaling. Draw yourself up, nice and strong through the arms. You guys have got this. Three more like this. You've got your final two. Nice guys, last one here. 
on this next one, you're going to send yourself away. And then I want you to hold yourself down here. Bend your elbows, draw your chest over the foot bar. Exhale, press away. Inhale. Exhale, bend and then press away. Good guys, nice and strong through the arms, nice and strong through the belly. Two more like this. Lowering yourself down. Last one in this direction until we go and reverse it straight away. So now you want to draw your chest over the foot bar. Exhale, press away. Inhale with straight arms, draw yourself up. Bend the elbows. Exhale, press away. Inhale, draw yourself up. You've got three more like this. Working through your shoulders, working through your core. Final two here. You guys have got it. Last one. Bend, extend, draw yourself all the way up. Change that blue string to one red. And you're going to step to the left of your reformer. Place your left foot down, place your right foot up against your shoulder rest. Keep your hands wrapping around the foot bar. Send the carriage away so you're getting your hip flexor stretch. Get that nice stretch and release. You can either hold it down here or you can make it dynamic by drawing it in and out. The other option you have is to float your right leg off. You'll just get a deeper stretch. So whatever suits you, whatever feels good. Just a few more seconds like this. Now let's draw that carriage all the way in. This time, let's straighten both legs and keep both legs nice and straight, hips are square, and send the carriage away. Get a nice hamstring stretch and release. And again, you've got the option to either make it dynamic or you can just hold the stretch out there, whichever feels good. Exhaling. And then inhaling, drawing up. Let's do three more. For two. And you've got your last one here. Draw that carriage all the way in. You can either walk along the front or you can shuffle across. Place your left foot up against the shoulder rest, right foot's down. Let's come into our hip flexor stretch here. Get that stretch and release through the front of the body. Just warming down here. It was almost like a blast, a really quick class that got the heart rate up, worked the full body, and always stretching just to release. One more here. And now let's draw that carriage in. Let's straighten both legs and then send the carriage away and drawing it back in, getting that stretch and release. Exhaling, and then inhaling. Keep your left hip nice and square, both legs are straight. Getting that deeper stretch each time that you send the carriage away. Three more here. You've got two. And your final one here. Good, draw that carriage all the way in. The last little bit, we're gonna get a glute stretch so you can sit at the edge of your carriage. You're going to just bring your right ankle over your left knee, come into your figure four stretch. If you wanna fold over your leg, you can, otherwise you can just press down onto your knee and get that stretch and release through the side of the glute. Taking those nice deep belly breaths. One more breath here. Let's start to unhook your leg. We're swapping over to the other side. So place your left ankle over your right knee. Get that stretch and release through the left glute. One more deep belly breath. Let's start to unhook your left leg. You can roll out your wrists and your shoulders. And you guys are all finished. Thank you so much for joining me for the class today. And I'll see you next time.